Are you ready to step up your game and start welding stainless steel? If so, you're in the right place and we're going to show you how to TIG weld a stainless steel 316 pipe. So unlike previous videos where we've been working on mild steel, we were allowed to put a lot more heat into that material. So as this is 4mm plate and 4mm pipe, I'd want to limit distortion as much as possible. So that's why I've set my amps to 65 amps so I don't overheat the material and cause distortion. However, distortion is almost inevitable. As all the stainless steel welders will tell you, stainless steel isn't very forgiving. This is because it can't disperse the heat quickly, so it holds on to it, and that's why you find that you've got a lot of distortion that happens in your joints. So to counteract this, sometimes there'll be gaps between runs, so on your weld procedure, it might ask you to do a root pass, then a hot pass, then let the temperature of the stainless steel cool down to a sufficient temperature, before then you proceed to weld more. People tend to weld stainless steel with low amps, which in turn makes them weld slower, putting more heat into the material, as opposed to higher amps, which makes them weld quicker, putting less heat into the material. Finding the balance is crucial to being successful, so not too high and not too low. If you're a stainless steel welder, let us know in the comments down below what tips and tricks you use. And if you're subscribed to this channel, you know we weld both stainless and carbon steel. If you found this video informative, you'll definitely want to check out the next one, which is conveniently displayed on your screen now. As always, thank you for watching and we'll see you in that next video.